First play of the game, I mean, I just wanted to run fullback inside so I could see what my opponent's defense is. On the very first play, we're taking this to the house. Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, Sniff Not The Mad Cheese has always got another gameplay for you guys today, another card based gameplay, I got three team diamonds done, cost me about 2 million coins to get these cards and get them all the way maxed out, uh, so hit the like button because it was a lot of work, I had to go with the 99 overall speed guys, the 99 speed, excel, agility guys, like Dree Archer, uh, this guy's a complete cheat code, I mean if you guys don't know, when you get this card, number one, you get a ton of extra ability slots, and then this guy in particular, gets evasive for 2 AP. I had a uh, jukebox on Sean Alexander for 3 AP. This guy gets evasive for 2 AP. You don't even have to put, um, you know, a speed boost on him. You don't have to put uh, any of these uh, sprinters on to get him to 99 speed. So that's perfect because he doesn't actually lose anything. He doesn't lose agility or change of direction. So he's just maxed out. Uh, the other two cards that I picked for this gameplay, I picked Sean Springs uh, mostly because of the Washington chem. The only real upside to him is mid zone KO and Acrobat both cause one point again. So that saved me a little bit of extra points. I'll go over my points, uh, how I use my AP in a minute. Uh, and then I also got Darius Hayward Bay. I was I was to the point I really wanted a faster, a tall, fast receiver. He's six foot two. He's gonna show off in this gameplay as well. 99 speed, all that stuff. So taking a look at my team real quick, I'll show you guys where I got my points at and where I got my chemistries at. I got 25 Chiefs, 25 Washington. Now I was thinking about going up to 25 Raiders because I really want Randy Moss to be a 99 speed. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think uh, like i was saying because of these guys having lower ap's it does help out. that's probably one of the biggest benefits is it does help out when it comes to uh these particular you know just one less ap got me to get uh under pressure uh for um for LeVar Arrington here, it comes off the edge a lot in a lot of my blitzes, so I'm really happy about that. As far as on the offensive side, I already showed you guys that I had uh, Evasive, uh, and I also have uh, Route Technician on Darius Hayward Bay. So that's pretty much the setup. Fearless Gunslinger on my quarterback, Identifier, that's pretty much the look. Before I get into this gameplay, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you want to get your Mutt team up like mine, check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. So getting right into the gameplay, I'm using an offense out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook that I put out a couple days ago a full breakdown so if you guys want to try to use the same offense that I'm using uh, I will put links in the description for the plays that I'm using as I always do first play of the game I mean I just wanted to run fullback inside so I could see what my opponent's defense is when I get back to the play selection screen but on the very first play we're taking this to the house he could go all the way and Dree Archer's speed just completely showing off as we burn the entire defense for a 75 yard touchdown. On the defensive side, my opponent goes right down the field on me. Uh, on this play though, I drop everybody back and I get burnt. I'd rather get burnt sending pressure than get burnt like that. So my opponent's going right down the field. I mean, I'm using a couple of different defenses as well. I'm using uh, kind of a cover three invert look that I've been messing around with. Um, you know, at the first you know look, it's not having a ton of success. On the next play though, I've said in the past, this is one of the most turnover prone defenses in the game, the cover three cloud. A lot of people figured out how to hit a one play touchdown against it. But when you're backed up against the goal line like this, it's a total cheat code. Gotcha, you're going to get a lot of turnovers. And on the very next play, we're getting an interception that we're taking all the way back to the house. With Kendall Fuller, a deep reserve. So that gameplay ends pretty quickly as he quits. See ya. Getting into the second gameplay, this guy here, he's going to be rocking the meta 335, uh, you know, shifting down, shifting into it, and all that stuff. I hit him with that fullback inside. Like I said, all I really wanted to do was see what defense my opponent is running. And the second I see he's running that man cover one, I'm going to go with the Z spot. This is a very good uh, one play touchdown against man. Now I see I don't have the right receiver in the spot, though. I got Randy Moss lined up out here, but I'm going to run it as is anyway. I typically we want to try to force feed this to Darius Hayward Bay and on the very first play it looks like he slightly gets behind but he just doesn't have the speed he doesn't get the separation nope he doesn't get the catch so on the next play we're gonna go right back to that this is a perfect opportunity for a good comparison only this time we're gonna put Darius Hayward Bay in the home run spot we're gonna run a slightly different formation as well we're gonna run the close bucks fade which is another play that I put out recently out of the Buccaneers I'll put a link in the description for that as well uh, this play here you don't need any motion I'm not gonna give my play away at all and sure enough he gets right up to shoot break yourself fool 
But he move this man! No! Does not hang on to the ball. But I'm gonna go back to that on the next play. We're gonna hit him with that fullback inside just to see if we can get that first down. And with little Dre Archer once again. Hey! Y'all wanna see a dead body? And he gets rocked, but he still gets that first. Let's go! I mean, little guy making big plays, doing big things. And we're going right back to that close bucks fade. As you can see right here, the cornerback in coverage is lit up. I don't care. I'm going right over the top. And you can see right here, Darius Hayward Bay just runs right past him. Break yourself, fool! It is a very easy one play touchdown the very next play. So, back up on top. We're sending a lot of house blitzes. My opponent is going to be running for his life and dotting me. I gave myself a little bit too much uh, responsibility on that play. But you can see my opponent's going right down the field on me, just like my first opponent. So, he gets inside the five pretty quickly. Just a couple of plays. Then on the next play, we're going to hit him with uh, cover four quarters. It's a different ball game once you get down to the one. Nope. Right there, we get the stop. He's going to try to run a hurry up. It's going to come out in the same defense. This is a very good run defense. That's why I picked it anytime I'm inside the five and they're sure enough on the next play nope we get another stop so he's not getting in on the ground he decides to run a hurry up one more time and i'm not going to run commit like i did on the last play because i know he's not going to try to run into a brick wall four times in a row and sure enough gotcha, we undercut the tight end and we are going the other way he could go all the way 95 yards i'm swagging i'm swagging i'm swagging oh it's gonna look like an instant replay of the first game because it basically is as my opponent's gonna head for the exits just like the last one did. See ya! And we're moving on to the next gameplay. We got one more here. This one's gonna be the toughest out of all of them. Uh, as I'm coming out in the exact same offense, he's pretty much coming out in the exact same meta defense that everybody's running. Uh, same 3 through 5 although he's gonna be running cover 3 when my other opponents are running more cover 1. So I switch it up and go with a little bit of gun bunch because uh, this is, you know, when you're running cover 3, it's very easy to manipulate. All you really need is a streak and a corner route and you're gonna get a lot of big plays outside of cover threes and that's exactly what happens on this next play as i dot up darius hayward bay in a tight window tight throw he gets that toe tap in he has an absolutely monster game in this third game as does sean springs we haven't seen from him yet but we will in this gameplay on the next play well, we almost have a disaster right there as we get like an instant sack fumble. I don't know, maybe he had strip specialist or something. Luckily, I get the ball back. On third and 19, we motion out Dre Archer. Got him coming across the middle. Like I say, he's only five foot seven, but he makes a play here as he picks that up, gets his feet in bounds, and holds on to the ball. <laughs> We're going to go for it. Fourth and four, and the X route just gets right up the seam. There's Hayward Bay once again, just holding on to that ball, even though he's getting absolutely blasted while he does it. This guy's a monster. I love this card. Then we're going to go with the fullback dive. We're going to put Dre Archer at the fullback spot and see if he can punch it in from a yard out. Sure enough, I mean, he's so fast, he doesn't even get touched. Nobody even gets close, and we get an easy touchdown. So we're up 7 nothing. My opponent here, he's going to come out in a lot of shotgun stuff. A lot of people are. It's pretty much the meta offense right now. As Ladarius Sneed's just a little bit late on that coverage. He's definitely, you know, I got Ladarius Sneed, I got Deion Sanders, and I got Sean Springs. And Sean Springs is going to start making some plays. On the next play, I'm really messing with this blitz, this will fire three seam. It's a very easy blitz to set up. All you have to do is blitz all linebackers. And leave yourself a little bit bare in the coverage, but most people don't see it coming as the heat is just about instant. Watch out! Now he's in second and 20. We're going to run this pretty much this entire series because, you know, until he figures it out, I'm just going to basically keep hitting him with it. On the next play, once again, getting that pressure, that under pressure uh, cam right there definitely came into effect as it forces a bad throw. Then I'm going to use her Sean Springs on the next play. This is this is going to be, um, you know, the first time that Sean Springs makes an appearance. I didn't even know I was on him, but when he throws the ball up, I mean, I'm all over these routes. Gotcha, and we're coming back with a very easy interception, even though we got tackled right away. So Sean Springs with his first interception. I guarantee it will not be his last in this gameplay. Uh, next play, I mean, we're trying to go right up the scene, but we throw the ball right back. Yeah. It was on a fourth and seven anyway, so we just kind of forced it. So second quarter, he, I give him a minute to work with here. Uh, we're still hitting him with these blitzes, but he's going to be a little bit smarter. He starts taking flats and stuff like that. Then on the next play, I make a huge mistake as I essentially play the flat, and I just let the streak go straight up the middle and, and score a touchdown. So he scores. I get the ball back though with 20 seconds left. I can make something happen here. I motion out this uh, receiver here and it basically allows me to dot up that outside corner route one more time. And it basically all I really wanted to do is get the first down and get to the open side of the field so I can run a couple of cover through one play touchdowns. And on the very next play, I'm going to run the PA post cross shot. This is another play that I put out recently. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description for this as well. All you got to do is motion this guy in and put him on a streak. But I noticed Randy Moss is in that spot. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use a timeout even though it's not a smart move. 
just to put Darius Hayward Bay into the game. Then, like I said, all you have to do, motion this guy in, put him on a streak. Then you basically just have to watch this cornerback. Once he loses interest, once he fades away, you just bullet pass it away. You got a very easy one play touchdown. With 10 seconds left, we're scoring from 50 yards out. Darius Hayward Bay once again making another play. Gotta say, I love Darius Hayward Bay. He's probably my favorite out of all three of the players. But on the very next play, with seven seconds left, my opponent's trying to beat my cover two man, and Sean Springs is making another appearance. Gotcha, he comes up with an interception that he almost takes to the house. Nope. Not quite, as you can see. I mean, there was two guys there. I, I tried to put a little bit of a stop and go on him, but, you know, it is what it is. So, Sean Springs, two interceptions, lots of contributions coming from all these guys in today's gameplay, and then you can see my defense. I mean, I'm giving up small stuff underneath. You know, he's going to do a pretty good job of dotting that up. I'm trying to play a little bit more zone heavy on this next play, and it doesn't even matter as he beats my uh, my weird cover three where the middle linebacker is supposed to be playing deep center. Damn it! <laughs> it is what it is. Like I said, it's another defense I'm messing with. Back on offense, I mean, he's still running cover three, but I have a suspicious feeling that he's deep halfing one of these outside cornerbacks. And when I make this next motion, it gives it away. Typically, when you motion this running back out, uh, the safety shift. But based off the fact that they don't shift, I know right away this guy's got one of these safeties or this outside cornerback in a deep half. So it's a really simple adjustment. I'm going to run the play the exact same way, only I'm going to throw to the Y route. Now you can see right here, this guy doesn't react. And we have an easy one play touchdown against whatever cover five hybrid that he was running. A lot of people make that adjustment, but it's really easy to get around. It's not as simple as people think. Then with, uh, you know, not too much time left, we come out and cover two man. I was so impressed with Sean Springs cover two man ability that I was going to run a little bit more of that. You can see, I mean, the, co the coverage is pretty tight. Gotcha, and on the very next play, Kendall Fuller coming up with another interception that he almost takes back to the house. Then we're going back to the ground. Uh, you know, at this point, late in the game, I know I can at least get a field goal. We're going to hit him with some ground and pound. Dree Archer is going to get some love. He's going to get some work. On this next play, I most of this receiver across because he was really shooting gaps on me pretty well so i wanted to make sure i had that extra blocker and look at the effort by dre archer all five seven of them just working hard to get that first down to guarantee that first <laughs> Next play, I mean, we're going to hit him with a little bit of trickery. He's been shooting the gaps a lot, so I motion this guy across one more time to make him think that's where I'm going. He falls for it. I go the other way. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, kill clock right now, and it's working. So in the next play, we're going to make that motion one more time. Now he really shouldn't have any idea where I'm going at all. Uh, and sure enough, he just gets sucked into the, the garbage, and we're just scoring a very easy touchdown with Dree Archer. So perfect for, you know, he's a perfect back for this system, this two-back running back system that I'm running uh, to have that type of speed, and he has a very big day. Then on the next defensive side of me he basically just throws it up gotcha, throws bitch. an interception against my cover four and that's all she wrote Adri Archer had two touchdowns uh you know Darius Hayward Bay had two touchdowns Sean Springs had two interceptions I mean they were definitely the stars of this gameplay if you guys want to see more gameplays like this more mutt based gameplays more card based gameplays do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below